Okay, HP just finished the morning session. We heard from Jonathan Rende, who chimed in behind me. He was the guy behind me. You can see him over my shoulder right there talking to him. He's the general manager. He's the guy in charge, the whole deal. Um, came from Mercury. They're seeing, you know, I'm, I'm interested in this whole software because, you know, it's, it's well documented that Leo Apoteca, the CEO of HP, came from SAP, and um, he's a software guy, so, you know, I've always been interested in how HP could be a software vendor, and, and HP's never really been good at software. They've been a hardware company from day one, Bill and Dave in the garage, making oscilloscopes, all the way up to printers, and then now see with the mini computers, printers, and then computer products, been dominant on the hardware side. Bill, um, Dave Donatelli is actually crushing it on the Converged networking side, crushing Cisco's ass and servers, making huge gains in the switch and routing side with 3Com. HP is doing great on storage with the three-part acquisition. You're seeing a complete unification across the storage layer. So, you know, HP is pumping on all cylinders on the hardware side, um, gaining market share uh, across the board um, in Cisco's core market, at least on you know, switches and routers, and Cisco has failed to gain share in servers. So we heard from IDC Michelle Bailey on that. Um, now what? Now we swing back to the software side of the house, get Vertica hanging out there, kind of like an Indian reservation out there because no one really knows what to do with Vertica. And um, Prith Banerjee, who I interview, if you go to siliconangle.tv, you'll see the interview with Prith. Uh, he and I talk privately about Vertica. Vertica has confirmed to me that they're working with HP Labs, um, figuring out how to really take the Vertica jewels and spread it across HP's entire business units. And so the strategy might be that Vertica is integrated across all the business units rather than being its own business unit. And Shane Robertson at HP, who I've never met and interviewed, hope to get him on the cube. Um, is managing that project. So my guess is, uh, and I'm speculating here, is that Leo Apotec is watching the Vertica deal very closely. He's the one who picked him out of the market, um, went to Massachusetts, scored him. Obviously, Vertica is non-standard, uh, big data. They have Hadoop connectors, but Mike Stonebreaker out of MIT built that from scratch. Vertica's got a compelling offering. My guess is that they're trying to figure out what to do with it. Obviously, the software guys, um, it's not that easy to tribute. It's not trivial to integrate in Ver Vertica into the software unit. But Mercury is going to be interesting to roll out this uh, this development environment. You know, we didn't even talk about SpringSource and VMware, for example. For instance, you know, <laughs> VMware made an acquisition with with SpringSource. You know, developer frameworks are key. They're important for the software side of the business, and software is the differentiation, as we've been reporting. Wikibon.org, Dave Vellante is uh, heading up the research on this uh, in our team, and uh, you know, we've been talking on the cube about software being the differentiation uh, component of that. So 